Okay, I'm at Leroy again. We just finished drilling all these bones over here. Put holes in them. We're gonna make an eagle bone, an eagle claw bone and claw and beak necklace. So I get Leroy there. These are all the bones we uh, we drilled. So all the bones were drilled. So here you go, Barney. I can't find my other needle. And the other needle would allow me to go right through this. So, yeah, it doesn't let me go any further because I'm bad. Okay. Last thing to do would be to snap my needle. Okay. Much easier. Much easier. Okay.
There you go. So my mom is First Nations, East Coast. This necklace is traditional to my family.
go. Very nice piece. Beautiful, my too. It's well balanced. And there you go. It's my gift to you. A beautiful piece. We'll have to do individual loops on each side. But yeah, it'll be nice. Very nice. The bones that are used are knuckle bones. There's only two bones on each bird. Same with this, two bones. So this is one bird two birds, three birds, four birds. This will be the knuckle next to it, next to the uh, finger bone. This would be a thumb bone over here. This would be a thumb bone. And we kind of do it this way to keep the, uh, the sequences in what we're doing, which is basically eight on one side eight on another side and then we close it off with four four bones that are in relation to the following bones so it closes it off but continues on into your next piece a very nice piece we'll have to uh, take nail polish uh, hardener or nail hardener and we'll have to uh, cover up the, uh, the beak protect the beak and then we'll put a, a leather, a leather uh, sock around it. We might, he might, uh, do Leroy, depending on how he feels, might want to get it covered in silver. He might want to get it covered in gold. Over here in the, uh, in the uh, BC uh, province, we have gold. And so most likely that's what he'll get it adorned with. Very beautiful. All the nails will have to be uh, done too as well. They'll have to be to be uh, polished. Mm -hmm. Nail polish, uh, nail hardener. There are other pieces uh, that will be included in my personal uh, necklace, and the pieces that will be included will be some tail bones. My tail bones go between each knuckle. And then I utilize mostly uh, the bone itself that holds the uh, claw, without the claw. I do have uh, some necklaces with claws on them, but I take apart birds and I, I work with, um, with the bones. And this tells the uh, First Nations people here in Canada that I'm a powwow. I uh, take apart eagles, I go in the forest looking for them, same with bears and wolf and any other uh, sacred animal. I prefer to find them dead than, than killing them. It's too easy to go out and kill them. Harder to walk around in the forest, Leroy, is it? Looking for dead ones? Yeah. <laughs> so that's what Leroy and I do. I'm teaching Leroy how to follow his uh, culture, how to follow his spiritual belief, and in the old days they would have went around looking for eagles that would have passed of age or would have passed because they fought or would have passed because of an injury. Uh, they cartwheel with each other and when they do some birds get injured and some birds die. In this time and age uh, a lot of birds we find have been poisoned, have lead poisoning, that's from buckshot, that's from uh, BB, BB guns, uh, parents giving children BB guns and they go shoot a rabbit and the rabbit lives but then dies. Eagle sees it, eats it. Same with fish. Fish eating lead, lead weight. They eat the lead weight, they die, they float up to the surface and eagle eats them, ingests the lead weight and itself dies. Same with eating f birds that are, that are shot. Uh, they're scavengers, they'll go scavenge. But anyhow, we find 15 to 20 every year that have passed away 
Uh, some of them have plastic, which is a good portion now have plastic in them, Leroy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, balls of plastic. So then that tells me that there's a lot of plastic in the ocean, that they're eating fish that have ingested plastic, or they themselves are ingesting somehow plastic. Don't forget, you need a permit. You need a permit to be able to, to do this. It's illegal not to have uh, proper documentation from the Ministry of uh, Environment. Beautiful piece, Leroy. It sure is. Here you go. I'll give you this. You can give me back my camera. Okay. Thank you, Martin. You're very much welcome, Mr. Barney. There you go. We'll have to put notches on it. And... Uh, not I'll be able to be worn, so you get tied behind your neck. I'll be right here. Okay, say bye-bye, Leroy.